Hi, you're with Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm here to share this little cubey type box with you today. Now, this is the last in my series on the Truly Tailored series, which uses the Truly Tailored Tag Punch and the Truly Tailored Stamp Set, which you can buy as a bundle from the Occasions catalogue. And it's 10% cheaper if you buy it as a bundle than if you buy them separately. And we're also using today the True Gentleman Designer Series paper, of which I have hardly any left, so I may have to order some more. It's a beautiful double-sided 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. And if you've been with me for this whole series, you'll have seen most of it. All right, so I've just put a linen thread sort of ribbon type tie around the box. And when you take it off, I've got a layered, a layering scallop square on the top, which I just put the framelit on top of the box and decided which one would fit. And it's in tranquil tide. And then the sentiment is from the truly tailored stamp set of course and i've punched it out but then i've decided i'm going to cut it closer to the inked edge so mainly because the punch moved and i was too lazy to go and get some more very vanilla cardstock and it's got dsp on all the sides except the bottom of course and when it's a little cube and when you open it up uh, you can pop some sweet presents inside. It would fit probably a tie. But anyway, dads probably don't want ties and socks or you could even stick a gift card in there. So that's what we're going to make. And this one's out of Tranquil Tide using the True Gentleman DSP. And we're going to make today's out of Night of Navy and, yeah, the same DSP. All right, so I'll bring in my scoreboard. And yes, I found the metric plate. Look at this. How good is this? So this is a square of DSP, which is 17.4 centimetres by 17.4 centimetres, or 6 and 7 eighths of an inch by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch. And we're going to score on all, all, all four sides at, 5.8 centimetres which is about there and 5.8 centimetres is the same as two and a quarter inches so we're just going to score down there and then flip it and score again at 5.8 and again the same at 5.8 and again at 5.8 and I've pre-scored mine so I cheated. 5.8 is the same as two and a quarter inches so that's our little inside cube bit done this bit and we'll go on and do the box itself. Now the box itself is 12 centimeters or six and seven eighths of an inch by 24 centimeters or nine and a half inches and we're going to score this at three centimeters and then at nine and then you're going to flip it round and score at three nine fifteen and twenty one so i'll go through that again so this is the 12 centimeter or the six and seven eighths inch edge up the top of you simply scored and you're going to score at three centimeters which is one and a quarter inches so three centimeters and then again so at nine centimeters which is i had that written down somewhere three and a half inches and then you're going to flip it and have the long side at the top and you're going to score at three centimeters one and a quarter inches nine centimeters three and a half centimeters inches 15 centimeters or five and seven eighths of an inch and 21 centimeters which is i didn't write that down but anyway i'll put it on my blog that's all the scoring we need to do then we're going to just quickly burnish all these score lines so i'll be back in a minute when they're all burnished so they're all burnished okay now we need to do some cutting and we're going to cut i think you can see this side easier we're just going to cut a wedge just a narrow wedge 
so that your box sits nicely when you put it together. So you're just choosing one side to cut that at and then you'll cut on the opposite side exactly the same. All right, and then we just need to put that together and I'm using liquid adhesive today and I'm putting the outside of the box to the inside, if that makes sense. So what I do is I just put glue on one side, lift it up, put glue on the other side and then bring it in and adhere it. All right, and then I'm just going to put adhesive on the outside of both and put that together. All right, so we've cut a wedge out of this one. We're cutting a little bit to the right of this one and a little bit to the left of this one and then cut that one out. And then the same on this one, just cut a little bit of a wedge out and then I'll be back in a minute when I've done the other side to match. All we need to do is make our box, this, these two flaps here. So all I'm going to do is just adhere these two end flaps to the inside of that and that brings that up and the same on the other end. So I'll be back in a minute when I've done that. Just make sure you've got the tops of your card straight with each other in line. Quite a quick little box. Now we've got our box adhered. We're now going to pop our cube that we made earlier inside. Now I put the side, what I call the front and the back, to the outside and have the joining bit on the inside. So just put a little bit of glue in the middle here and we're going to pop that down. Just give it a bit of a push down. Make sure you've got it centered and there's most of it done. Now I did go ahead and add some designer series paper. So you need six pieces. I did write this down somewhere. Six pieces that are 2.5 centimetres by 5.3 centimetres. So that's that's all these ones. Now a quick way of doing that is to cut a 5.3 centimetre strip and then just cut off 2.5. So that's the same as one inch by two and one eighth of an inch. So you need six of those. And then you need two that are 5.5 centimetres by 5.5 centimetres squared or two and an eighth inch by two and an eighth inch. And I'm using different DSP because I can. So we'll go ahead and adhere all that and I'll be back in a minute when that's done. So these two bits go on the end and flip your box over and you can put on the end bits. We finished. There we go. And just the top. Okay, so there's our box. Now, I've already stamped the sentiment and punched it with the tag, tailored tag punch. And I've cut the layering square out, gollop square. And I'm just going to put some adhesive on the middle of that and stick that in the centre of the square. When it comes to putting the top on, I decided to add dimensionals. So I actually went and put them on the top of the box because I didn't want them overlapping. I didn't I didn't want to get them in the wrong place on the box if you know what I mean. So I just did that and take the backing off and then close your box up, pop your sentiment on roughly in the middle and there you've got your box all done. And here's the other one that I did earlier. So they're great boxes. You could make them for anybody. You could even add some ribbon. So if you wanted to, you could come in with the uh, Knight of Navy corduroy ribbon. That's part of the Truly Tailored Suite, but you can use it for anything. And you could just pop some ribbon around. Don't tie it in a bow, just tie it in a knot, but give yourself enough ribbon to do that. Now you might have to 
manhandle it a little bit so to speak so that when this bit comes this tail comes through twist it over didn't do that very well did I so that you've got the corduroy side on the outside so there's our truly tailored box with a bit of ribbon and then this one had the linen thread around it remember so these are available in my online shop and I'd love you to shop with me if you live in Australia so that's it for this series on the truly tailored and truly gentleman suite so I hope you found it interesting and useful and you'll pop back again soon to see what else I have for you. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now. Take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Let us see inside.